Help me, I'm stuck in an amp. Get me out. So today I'm gonna to talk about amps and why I pick a certain style of amp and why it's important to find what you are after. And if you pick the wrong thing, it's just not gonna work for you ever. Ah, nothing better than a nice mug of tea. So anyway, amps, it's taken me years to find the perfect amp. Um, I've had everything. Um, I've had cheap amps, Fenders, Marshalls, Mesa Boogies, uh, the, the list goes on, Two Rock, and it's taken me forever to find what I like in an amp. And I'll explain why I think it's important to find the best amp for you as a player. This really is a good cup of tea. But anyway, so when I'm trying an amp out, one thing I found with Marshall voice amps and things, every time I plugged a guitar into a Marshall, it sounded like a Marshall. My effects pedal sounded like Marshall. Everything had that Marshall sound to it. And I hated changing my guitars and having the same sound all the time. Just really fried my head. One thing I like about the Matchless amps is I can plug any of my guitars into them and, and different pickups. Any type, any brand and they all sound radically different and I like that even if you leave everything the settings on the amp exactly the same Every guitar sounds different. I like the fact that my effects pedals sound completely different as well So if I plugged my Greer Lightspeed for instance into I don't know like a Marshall amp or You know whatever that sort of British voiced amp then I find that my Greer Lightspeed sounds like a Marshall, but I don't want it to sound like a Marshall. I want it to sound like a Greer Lightspeed. Well, the reason why I've gone for the Matchless is I feel like an artist um, with a blank canvas and I can do what I want on that canvas and there's an end product. So when I'm like searching for different sounds and stuff, I'm getting the best out of my effects pedals and my guitar, as well as a great clean sound to start with. Um, fenders and stuff are brilliant for it, like fender amps and stuff for cracking. My issue with fenders is I find some of them like really trebly, so you've got to like change things, maybe mod the speakers out and mess about with valves and stuff. But when you're paying like really good money for a valve amp, you can notice the difference when you're like turning the treble, the bass, the middle, everything is like completely sort of, you know, you can hear it with your ears. I find some amps, the treble's either off halfway or on full, there's no in between. So sometimes spending a lot of money on a really good amp is better than spending a lot of money on a really nice guitar because the amp is the main source for me of um, tone. And if you've got a good guitar as well, then you're winning. But yeah, I'll do a couple of ex examples with some uh, different guitars and uh, see what you think. Um, and enjoy my cup of tea. Cheers.